Let's move to this now. A North Carolina man is seeking solutions to America's growing prison population by working to support those formerly incarcerated and their families. He's opening a new trade school at the old Lansboro Correctional Facility in Anson County to provide schooling and hope. WCNC Charlotte's Kaylin Hagwood visited the site in Polkton and shows us how organizers are trying to make a difference. Well, organizers say this used to be a cooking school for inmates. Now it'll be a culinary arts facility that will not only support students, but they hope help break the cycle of incarceration altogether. A former North Carolina prison is being reconstructed, now supporting students. We have more people incarcerated in this country uh, and than any other country in the world. And that's the cycle we wanted to break. Lanesboro Correctional in Anson County once housed hundreds of the state's most violent prisoners. A new trade school will now take its place with the goal of supporting the families of those incarcerated and reducing the number of repeat offenders. 42 states in this country have more jails and prisons together than colleges. And so um, today it's like a, a special day for us because uh, we wanted to first begin here the healing process. Cyril Prabhu is the founder of the 5 and 2 trade school, which he says will transform the prison into classrooms for topics like welding, plumbing, cooking and home repair. It's a personal passion after growing up without a father and nearly losing his life to gun violence. While the cost to build will take millions, he says the state of North Carolina offered the land for just one dollar in support of their mission. An act of God, Rocky Hupp says. Our past, you would think, would disqualify us for so much. and. Those are the very things that God uses to qualify us to, to do things. They hope to have the first set of students start by this fall for just a portion of the property. Still, they say donations are really making all of this possible. So if you'd like to give to support, we have a link on our website, WCNC.com. Reporting in Anson County, Kaylin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte.